Hello and welcome. In this patch, I used feedback and some movement to create 2D visuals. It feels like drawing these visuals. And I have another patch with this method that looks like drawing something. It uses different chop noises as the X and Y axis. It's possible to use other values for axis. Like this image that I converted to SOP and then to chop and then I use this data for axis. Now if I reset the feedback, it starts to draw the edge of my image. And also I have another example of this patch that I think it's beautiful. Here I used a box and noise SOP to create a moving geometry with line material. Then if I make a slight rotation the dots start to draw this abstract visual. It's possible to make changes to SOPs to control the drawing. I have to stop rotation to see the result. With look up and ramp I made it look like a 3D shape. Bloom, level, and this is it. So, let's have a deeper look to the patch. Add a grid and get a render. So add a camera and light and complete the path without. Add SOP noise for the grid. Assign line material to geometry. Decrease rows and columns of the grid. Something like 4 of 5. Turn off lines and turn on points. Set the exponent of the SOP noise to 0 to create movement on the points. I made some other optional changes to the noise. Create a feedback loop. Add feedback top, transform and add. Assign the add node to the target top of feedback.
Add keyboard in for feedback reset. From the feedback get a slope top and increase its strength. Add a displace and connect the slope and the add operator that you made before. Slightly decrease the scale, change the displace amount and see the various results. This is my shape for now and if I make a slight movement on transform parameters, beautiful visuals will be created. I think it would be fun if you assign a kind of controller like MIDI controller and change the parameters to do it like painting. So, have fun with this patch. See you.